Magic guest DJ today is none other than First at Fives, Carrie Klein. Hello, hello. WSAZ. Yay. News Channel 3. Ten-year veteran, right? Ten yes. Ten-year veteran. Yes. How about that? Well, Ten listen. years you've been hanging around yeah, here. Yeah, JV, you blow my mind that you remember that. Uh, well, and, and, I, and I wanted to share uh, quickly that uh, what a big fan that I am is she's been around for ten years, and I have one of her first stories <laughs> that she ever did on a uh, VHS tape, but unfortunately I was unable to view it yeah, because VCR, I don't have, no. I don't have the uh, VCR, What's a VCR uh, able to play anyway? it. Yeah, but uh, you you had uh, you had done a story years ago that uh, gosh I was so proud of that uh, I decided to keep it. That and, uh, long. And, and I still have, and, and I was just asking you about that story off the air, and see, you've done so many stories in your life, you've forgotten. Well, e yeah, I don't remember what I did yesterday. Do you remember the first story? Do you, by chance, do you I, do you remember the first story you did on WSAZ? I remember the very first story I did at WSAZ, only because I wasn't even supposed to report that day. It was my very first day at the station, and I was supposed to be just kind of orientating to the job and just uh, getting familiar with everything. I didn't even really dress for television, mm. but there was a call about some hot. Dog Dogs. It's the hot. It's the infamous hot dog <laughs> story, as we call it in the newsroom, where there were these dogs that had been left in a home in Guy and Dot, and for for days, and they were barking, and neighbors uh, were very concerned, and and the dogs were near death, and there was no one to cover the story. So they said, "Hey, you, new girl, go to Guy and Dot, and check this out." So I went with a photographer who I was scared to death of at the time. I didn't know the guy, and he had a kind of a grumpy uh, personality, and uh, he knows who he is. <laughs> yeah. I, I told him this. Story. I told him this story before, and uh, so that was my first story. I had to rush back. I couldn't even edit for myself because I didn't know how to use the machines yet. So mm -hmm. that was now you uh, you work with a, a fellow at uh, five o'clock each weekday named uh, Bill Murray. Uh, oh, Bill's yes. a veteran as well. Uh, Bill's got some crazy habits, doesn't he? <laughs> is he still into antiques? <laughs> does he still do all that antique stuff? I don't stuff? know. Well, yes, yes. Yeah. And, and Bill is just such an aficionado of of different types of furniture. You know, some of it is antique, but some of it's just, I don't know, just, uh, I don't yeah. even know how you describe it. But and, and he the, studies this stuff. And then he, uh, he went out and he got himself, he was one of the first people in this area to get a smart car. Oh. And everybody was so proud of the fact, oh my gosh, Bill Murray has the first smart car in the tri-state. And he goes out and smiles. Smashes oh up. no! Totals well, the thing, somebody, right? somebody else smashed him right actually. Out here, but right out here in front of our building. I know he did that on purpose so yeah. that you all could see that. But uh, he was devastated. We were all devastated. Did you get to ride the Bill Murray smart car before uh, it was totaled? I not only rode in it, I got to drive it. Wow! Yes. You know what? And when you're in it, it's amazing how much space is in that car. And the safety rating on it, by the way, is very high, which we were all concerned about because that was one of the things that kept him from. being being injured more than he was in mm. that broadside crash. Is it a glorified that. golf cart? Is no, it no. doesn't. When you're in it, honestly, yeah. you don't realize it's that small <laughs> because the room, it's a two-seater. So yeah. the room in the front is every bit of the same amount of room, seemingly, in a regular car, a, com a small compact, and that it drives great. And the funnest, the, the, the neatest part about it is watching people watch you <laughs> as you drive down the yeah, street. Yeah, Could you yeah, imagine yeah. people watching you and I in that uh, <laughs> car? Actually, the best uh, shot would be putting somebody like me who's six foot eight into that vehicle. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know, Bill's pretty tall himself and he was able to fit in it very well. And newsflash, he's pricing a new one. Oh uh, boy. Yes. Oh, boy. So you may see I'm trying to get him to get red, yeah. but he's looking at black. Wow. Well maybe well, maybe the day he gets it he can bring it by the station here and maybe I can attempt to get in. That'll be that fun. Would be all right. <laughs> Carrie Klein is with us, guest DJ on a Friday from Magic.